the U.S. immigration system today is just one big department at federal level called Department of Homeland Security. Under this department, there are basically three main agencies. One is like the administrative agency that runs the applications, fingerprints, etc. And they're called USCIS or United States Citizenship and Immigration Services. The other two agencies that are separate, supposedly, are the enforcement agencies, which is the police. That is Customs and Border Protection, CBP, based on the borders and ports of entry, all the way inland for 100 miles. So that's a third of the country. And most of the big, important cities are within those 100 miles. So CBP has a lot of jurisdiction. And the other one is called Immigration Customs Enforcement, or ICE. They do the inland work of detention and deportations. ICE has also somehow a jurisdiction within the 100 miles. Sometimes it's hard to know if there's a difference between the two. Sometimes the only difference that we see is that CBP has uniforms and ICE doesn't. ICE usually runs in non-marked cars. They dress in civil clothing. When they're ready to do operations, then they wear vests that says police. They have deep collaboration with state agencies. They also receive a lot of information through surveillance and technology. They have a contract with Palantir, which is a software company that uh, develops the apps for them to read, for example, the license plates of cars. They also use the Amazon cloud services for all their operations. They use social media. They're using facial recognition software. Amazon was trying to sell their facial recognition software to them. Uh, we don't know where that sale is at, but Amazon is not shy about it. They don't really care. So they became really sophisticated in the usage of high technology so they can really find people anywhere.